Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Problem one dash eight. The statement of problem is determine the resultant internal loading on the cross section through point C. Assume the reaction at support A and B are vertical. So this is the beam and the loading is shown. This is point load and this is uniformly increasing or decreasing load. So we have to find the internal uh, loading at point C. Clear? So we have to find the reaction forces as it is given the reaction forces are vertical. So I will draw the free wire diagram of this beam and from that free wire diagram we will find the reaction forces. So you can see that uh, this is point A clear and this is point B. So at point A we have vertical force that is represented as uh, A by and at point B there is also a vertical force that is represented as BY. At this point we have a 6 kN load that is at a distance of 0 0.5 meter. Clear. This is point C and uh, the distance from here to this point C is also 0 0.5 and the remaining distance is 3 meter. You can see this is a uniformly decreasing load so in order to convert it into point load what we have to do is that we have to multiply uh, uh, this 3 with the length of the beam which is on which this load is acting and that is 3. Since it is uh, triangular so it will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and this load will be equal to uh, 6 9 divided by 2 which is 4.5 kN and this force will act at a distance of uh, 2 meter from this side. So I will represent this force and this force will be at a distance of 2 meter. How? Because you know that this is uniformly decreasing load or from here it is uniformly increasing load. So in order to convert it into point load the distance from the uh, denser side will be L by 2 and uh, here it from this side it will be 2 L by uh, 2 L by 3. Since this L is 3, so 6 divided by 3 which is equal to 2. So this is 2. Clear? And this is uh, uh, 4.5 kilonewton load. So now we will draw the, uh, we have drawn this free by diagram of this beam. So we will find out this reaction loads AY and BY by using the equilibrium condition. So first I will write the equilibrium condition sum of all moment about point B is equal to 0 taking counterclockwise as positive. You can also take the moment sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0. At the end you will get the same result. Clear? So let move further. Uh, you can see that moment about point B is due to this load AY. Clear? So AY into perpendicular distance is total this distance is uh, 4 which is 3 plus 0.5 plus 0.54 and this load is producing counter uh, clockwise movement so that will be negative plus the second force which is producing movement about point B is this 6 kN so 6 and it is produ producing counter clockwise so 6 into perpendicular distance is 3.5 the other load which is producing moment about point B is this force 4.5 kN and it is also producing counterclockwise. So 4.5 into perpendicular distance is equal to 2. Clear? So when you solve this, uh, you will get Ay is equal to 7.50 kN.
now you can find by by using equation sum of all force along y direction and you can get by as well but here we do not need because we are going to section the beam at this point so to find the internal loading so when we cut the beam at this point c this is point a this is point c so when you can see at point a there is load of a y which is equal to 7.50 kilo newton and when you cut the beam at c so there will be a shear force which is equal to vc there will be a normal force that will be equal to nc and there will be a moment reaction moment which is mc so we have to find this force also you can see there is a load of 6 kilo newton that is acting on this section clear so this is 6 kilo newton and that is acting at a distance of 0 0.5 meter from this point c and from a to c the total distance is one meter 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 one meter so we will move further and we'll find out the internal loading so for finding nc we will apply the equation sum of all force along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so from this figure you can see the only horizontal load is nc and there is no other load so it means that nc is equal to zero for finding this shear force we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive okay so the vertical forces are 7.5 kilonewton 6 newton and bc so 7.5 is positive minus 6 minus vc is equal to 0 so from here we can get vc is equal to 1.50 kilo newton for finding the moment we will take sum of all moment about point c is equal to 0 and taking counterclockwise as positive so you can see at this point there is a loading uh, sorry a moment that is external moment or reaction moment and that is counterclockwise so it will be positive mc due to this force there will be a moment about point c and this will be equal to 7.5 multiplied by perpendicular distance is 1 since it is clockwise so that will be negative plus this due to this force 6 kilo newton that is acting at this point and it is producing counterclockwise moment about c so 6 into 0 0.5 is equal to their sum must be equal to 0 so from here we will get the moment mc is equal to 4.50 kilo newton into meter so this is how we have find out the internal loading at point c this is the normal force this is the shear force and this is the moment at point C. I hope these problems are now very simple for you. Thank you for watching and supporting me.